Hey everyone, Kit Levy. I'm the music writer with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and TapMilwaukee.com. And I'm here with Ben Hardesty, the frontman for The Last Bison. Uh, ben, I want to ask you about landing your first big gig. Tell me about that. Yeah, I think we had we had a couple of gigs at home that were that were pretty big and substantial. But the one that sticks out in my mind is uh, after we got off a five week tour with um, opening and supporting a, a artist named Kishibashi, um, we did a homecoming show. And so after you know five weeks of playing to you know 100 to 250 people, we got home and, and like all of our city came out in this um, this club at home called the Norba. If it's about 1400. And I think 1,200 people showed up, and, and we had this huge production, and um, it was a it was a special moment because it was it was it was coming home, and so um, you know after after being out and and playing for for a new audience, it's it's nice to come back to the audience that kind of was the original audience that that clung on to you, and, and um, I think in my mind that's that's the biggest and, and greatest big show cool um, thus far cool cool so so playing that show uh, having those those strong things that you had and, and all those great memories from it like how do you think it impacted the band or changed the band or maybe changed how you look at what you do you know I think I think we always uh, with that show in particular because we had the time to uh, actually create a production with 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 stuff on the stage and this we had this huge American flag backdrop with the state of Virginia and this is the last bison that we hand painted just to a uh, to um, when we get to the the point, if we get to the point where we can, we can do more production style stuff on the road and bring stuff like that with us to, to um, always strive for excellence and always strive for um, not only a a show and and excellence as a musicians, but but with our with our production that it would uh, it would just inspire awe and, and bring joy to people and and would leave them with something that they said wow that was. That was memorable. That was awesome. Cool. So, so what inspiring words would you leave for people, for other musicians who dream about landing their big gig? Yeah, um, I think especially right now with the huge kind of urbanization that the world is is undergoing, as uh, people long for something that's genuine and authentic. So just just be yourselves and and um, love what you do because people love to see you being joyful about the things you do and rejoicing in the things that you do. So give it your all and and be joyous about it even when it when it's hard to or stressful or sure maybe you don't want to so sure no well, well great advice thanks a lot ben appreciate yeah. it